Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have designed user registration form. In this lecture, we will create a handler method to handle this user registration form submission request and we will display the user register data in a separate page. Okay, so basically, we are going to create one more time loop template and we will display the user register data. Okay, so go to IntelliJ IDEA and let's quickly create a handler method to handle form submission request. So let's go to form controller over here and here let me write the comment handler method to handle user registration form submission request perfect well whenever user fill up this user registration form and submit this form then we need to create a handler method to handle this user registration form submission request isn't it so that is what we are going to implement over here so here let me create a handler method so just type public and let's give a return type of the method as string and let's give method name as submit form next let's go ahead and let's annotate this method with add post mapping annotation to handle http post request with the url register slash save well if you go to register form .html page here you can see we have provided register slash save you know link as an action to this form isn't it and we are going to handle this link request using this handler method over here okay perfect next let's pass a model as a parameter to this method and if you go to register form.html page again you can able to see here user form well this user form model object contains all the form data and we need to get this user form model object in a handler method right so for that what we'll do we'll use add model attribute annotation from spring framework to get the model object from time leap template and here we need to pass the model object so here we have user form okay so you can simply copy this and you can pass to this annotation like this and this should be an instance of user form perfect now we got the model object it contains form data next let's add this form data to the model so just call model dot add attribute and here just pass user form as a attribute name and user form actual object as a attribute value and next let's return the view name let's give view name as register hyphen success all right perfect now we have created handler method to handle user registration form submission request and within this handler method we have used at model attribute annotation to get the model object it contains the form data and then we have added this form data to the model and then we have written register hyphen success time lip template view name okay next we will create register hyphen success time lip template view and we will display this model data okay perfect Next, go to templates folder, right click, new one, then choose HTML file, and let's give file name as register hyphen success. Okay, perfect. Let's give title user registered data. And next, let's define the XML namespace for Thamlib. So just type XML namespace colon th equal to HTTP and then www.thamblip.org perfect now we have defined xml namespace for thamblip so that we can use thamblip syntax in this html page so go to body within a body let's display the model data so here just type a div and let's align this div at the center for that let's use align attribute and then let's pass center as a value and within this div let's have h1 header element and let's give a text as registered user information something like that next let's display the user registered information over here so here let's have a div and within this div let's have paragraph element and then here let's say user name and let's use strong html element to make you know name in a bold 
so here within a strong element let's use th colon text time loop attribute and then let's use a variable expression to point to the model object attribute so in our case we have user form dot name so this user form is coming from the form controller if you go to form controller here we have submit form handler method and if you can see inside this handler method we have model dot add attribute method and then we have passed user form as attribute name and actual user form object as attribute value and we can get the user form object by using user form attribute name so this user form attribute name we are using over here okay user form dot name so this will give user name next let's print user email so here let me copy and paste it over here and let me change from name to email and here let me change the field name from name to email next let's display the password so let me copy this and paste it over here and let me change from email to password and here let me change from email to password and similarly let me print the gender as well so let me copy this and paste it over here and let's change from password to gender and here also change from password to gender and next let's print the address so let me copy this paste it over here and let's pass address and here also let's change from gender to address perfect next let's print a married and profession field so let me copy and paste it over here and let me replace from address to married and here also let me replace address with married next let me copy this paste it over here and let me give a profession next let's give field name as profession perfect now we have printed username email password gender address married and profession next let's run our spring boot application and let's see how the user registered data will be displayed in this page so let me stop the existing server and let me start the spring boot application again and here we go our spring boot application is up and running now go to browser and just refresh this page let's enter full name as ramesh fadatari and then email ramesh at the gmail.com password let's go ramesh and gender select mail over here and profession let's select architect and then profession and then address i will put pune and click on register and you can able to see registered user information is successfully displayed over here and name ramesh parthare email password gender address married and profession architect perfect it means that we have successfully displayed the user registered information in this separate page and we have successfully created user registration form and we have successfully get the value of this user registration form in a spring muc controller all right i hope you understood how to create and design a forms in a timely templates and how to use timely attributes to deal with the forms in a spring muc projects all right great i will see you in the next lecture